So can we can we talk about ones that you want, or do you want to keep that secret for now? No, we can we can go into that. Okay. Um, so, um, what models are you still after, and particularly interested in? An Ace, obviously. Okay. Uh, the Sport Series Six. Yeah. Um, I go for because I've got the Sport Series Four in G Twenty, the other yeah. Pro Max. Yeah. I wouldn't mind a Sports Series 4 or an Ace as well. Okay, just like the one of, that I've got. Yeah, 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 just to kind of complete that. Yeah. Um, I do like the Cats these days as well. The, you know, you, you got the Cats 5000. Yeah. Um, I've got... I've just, just, com I've just completed that soon. Oh, yeah? yeah. <laughs> um, so I wouldn't mind an RB50 of the Cats. Yeah. Um, I've got the Block RB50. I'm hoping in my uh, <laughs> in my deliveries today. Yeah. There's an Italic RB50. That are we gonna Are we gonna open them up? We can We can open them yeah, up. Yeah, um, That I wouldn't mind getting. Yeah. Uh, precious metals. Um, you see, I've got two precious metals up the top there. Um, yeah. So I've got titanium and I've got uh, black chrome. I'm not a fan of these. I'm not. You know. But I need the the platinum. I need I need the white color 58. Yeah, um, they never fucking come up. No, you know. no. Um, so I need that. Yeah. So to add to the the collection. Yeah. Um, like I said, there's not many I need. Talking of Olympics, um, I'm quite content knowing I'll never own all the Olympics. Right, oh, okay. Too much money. It's 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 conditions yeah. vary all the time. I'm happy owning just one. Just one. Yeah. Um, and would that be? Um, gold, silver, or you know where I'm going with this? Gold, silver, or bronze? I'm I'm happy with a uh, with a with a gold. You know, I <laughs> okay. feel like value-wise for the Olympics is okay. really weird. Okay, you know, they yeah. go gold is the cheapest, then okay. silver, and then bronze. Yeah, for whatever reason. Um, but I feel like you know, gold it's a winner. Yeah, they won. Absolutely. They won. Yeah. They won their sport. They get the gold. Yeah. Um, so I'm quite content. Just owning a, a pair of golds. Okay. Uh, and I've been lucky enough uh, <laughs> for a very, very good friend of us. Yes, absolutely. Uh, to uh, to pick up a pair recently. Um, Thank you. And I am Denard for a while. You know, you you're talking a fairly sizable amount of money. Do you want to put them on for us, please, Jack? Have a look. These at are one of the very few pairs that. Uh, I'm happy to own in 62 because they only came in 62. Yeah. Um, so I personally don't think they suit me as well as a 58. I think they're a bit too big. But they're a beautiful piece of history. Um, one you can't really compare to any other model. So do they only come in Outdoorsman 2 or do they come in Large Metal 2? In terms of the winners, yeah, they only came like this. You know, okay. you, you can get there's there's Olympic models. There's lots of wayfarers out there that yeah. were like open to the public. To yeah, of buy. course, um, but not in this shape, not in the yeah, aviator shape. Ones that were won by the Olympic medalists um, and given to them by Ray Ban as a sponsor mm -hmm. in 1992. You only get this shape. Yeah. You only get this model in a gold frame, a silver frame, and a bronze frame. Yeah, um, yeah. they all came with a deep groove. Um, a, a, a um, cow eye case okay. with cloth. Um, so you just hold that up for for the viewers. Yeah, very nice. So um, yeah, they're they're a piece of history. Uh, do we know? Do we know which? Um, Athlete, sports person. I do, I do. Uh, one um, that one. If you wait one, one, one second there. Okay. Potentially the uh, the least cool looking athlete <laughs> that, that, have that I could have that I could have got. But this is uh, oh. this is the winner. <laughs> Wonderful. You want it for shooting? Superb. My, uh, Michael. I can't even Michael Jacosit. Jacosit. Sorry, Michael, if you're watching this. <laughs> okay. Superb. So, you know, it, it all goes together. I know the person that I purchased them from contacted the seller of the winner direct. Yeah. There's provenance there. Yeah. A beautiful condition. 
Um, they are fantastic, uh, fantastic conditions. There's, there's some, there's some, there's points in times where you've got to pull out your wallet. Yeah. Uh, I don't mind paying for some models more than I would normally. Wonderful. Um, and look uh, at how clean that is, people. Yeah, and you know they're one of them. They're one of the few models that you got to kind of jump up when you get the opportunity. Yeah. If you get it for a good price. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If we're talking market value, like we have been. Yeah. Conservatively. Fifteen. <laughs> Not for gold, not quite no, as high. Not, not Maybe quite. twelve. Okay. For bronze, though. Bronze, fifteen to eighteen hundred. Okay. It's it's ridiculous money. Yeah. Uh, there's less of the bronze um, for whatever reasons. Uh, also, you know, if you look around, you get white gold frames, you get chrome frames that's silverish looking. Mm -hmm. uh, you get Arista frames, obviously the gold. They're very very similar. You never get a bronze frame. No. You, know, you never get any other models that got bronze yeah, frame. Exactly. So, yeah. so. It creates a popularity yeah. around them that I don't yeah. think uh, you can get elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're up the top of one of the top three or four pairs in terms of value yeah. um, you can buy and popularity. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, you've received some post. I <laughs> have. Um, should we do it? Oh, we... cont contains glass. Should we do? Um, I don't necessarily want to get my, yeah, my address, give in the address but... away. Um, should we do an unboxing and see what you've picked up? I'm hoping the both sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, let me Hopefully, it's not a dildo, mate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Let's have a little bit here, shall we? This, you get a. Uh, you get the excitement, you know. This yeah, is absolutely. This is part of why you you you, you collect Ray Bans. Just waiting for the postman for, yeah, to turn up. Yeah, you're sitting all day. You're going right. When's the postman coming? And and then he comes and he hasn't got something yeah, for you. Yeah, you, you know. You, you get the the added joy. It is some sunglasses. <laughs> okay, what have we got? What have we got? What do you reckon? You know, what we what we oh, thinking? Fucking. Uh, that's uh, looks like a traditional case. It does. It's not. It's not, okay. We're getting any Aviators. Aviators? I have no fucking right, idea. Ego. Oh, fuck's sake, diamond <laughs> fucking hard. Lovely. Very nice, okay. Um. So, the anticipation, you, you buy the glasses. For me, straight away, it's condition. It's like, are these in as decent condition as I'm hoping they're gonna be? What's so your, what's free, your? Free cloth. Okay, we'll so we've got, a, what, what's that? <laughs> uh, some sort of Henley cloth or something, <laughs> some shit like that, okay. Cake, right, cake, you know, for getting a diamond iron and getting the case. the case, yeah. That's, that's half the value there already, yeah, yeah. you know, well, half the value, but that's, that's, yeah. that's a, good, a good start. Uh, and just to, just to say to people who are watching, um, it's very important when you buy a pair of vintage Ray-Ban sunglasses to try and also get the case to, to complete the set. If you can't get, I mean, on top of that, it's good to get the box, the cardboard box yeah. as well. But for anything, if you want top, top money, if you're going to resell. So just, um, again, the camera's run out, but just to say that, um, yeah, it's always good to have a case with uh, with your sunglasses if you want to get pretty much top money yeah. uh, if you're if you're reselling. So you know, again, the joys of Bosch and Lom, they made a lot of different cases yeah. for the different models. You know, yeah. you get all of these different ones. Locks I took it these days is three or four different cases. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm a, I'm a stickler for cases. I, I really try as hard as possible to, to get, get the, case, the original yeah. case, the case with it. Yeah. Um, so yes, we've got the case. Uh, and we've got some diamond arms. Very uh, nice. I got these for a very, very good price. Okay. I knew there was a scratch on them. Okay. The thing is with diamond hards, most of the time, it's diamond hards with diamond hard coated um, lens. Ten so what, what does that, okay, you just about to say, yeah, okay, so sorry. It's one of these NASA technology kind of things, but it, it's supposed to be 10 times more scratch resistant than okay. normal lenses. Okay. So normally and is that the reason, sorry Jack, is that the reason why they're so much more expensive, even on the collector's market, than, than most or the yeah. majority of other models? Yeah, plus the frame, you know, they're a, they're a, they're a, 
a, a deep groove frame, they're a flat temple frame, they've got added elements to them to make them kind of more sort of fancy. Um, they're one of the swankier looking models. So, Do you mind putting it on? Let's have a look. Uh, these are a 62, okay. so again they're not gonna, not gonna fit me quite as well. But... Okay, so as you can see, a diamond hard with the diamond inscription under the Ray-Ban. Deep groove frame, as you can see. Outdoorsman 2. Yeah. Very nice. So they're W1508, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Um, like I said, normally with diamond hard, you're, it's all about the lens condition because mm -hmm. there's, they're supposed to be scratch resistant. So if they've got too many scratches on them, they're just mm. like, well, they, you kind of feel like they're not performing their job. Yeah, so of course, they don't yeah. get the value. This has got one or, you know, it's got two tiny little dings in it, but yeah. you know, you've still got some good value in there. Um, and on the whole, for the price I paid, very nice little pair. And is that from uh, a well known auction site? That is indeed. Yeah, you okay. Know, most of my stuff were in the UK, yeah. we were discussing earlier, it's very difficult to, to find channels to buy in the UK. Mm -hmm. um, the majority of the time you're on that well-known auction site, um, you can get some very good bargains if you're on it consistently. Mm -hmm. There are some people out there that are just out to make money. <laughs> we all know... Let's not go there, let's not go there. Um, uh, so, it's, it's, the last five years it's become a hell of a lot harder. Yeah. Um, but if you're quick enough, if you know what you're looking at, yeah. if you if you if you know how to hunt, you know when to click that buy now button without looking too much in detail at descriptions yeah. and stuff. Um, you can get some bargains. Yeah, absolutely. And still, it's just hard. Yeah. So yeah. Cool. Okay. So that's, paste. that's the first one. Um, this one looks like a pair of shoes, but I'm not entirely sure. So how comes you live next door to a tennis court? Are you playing some tennis? Oh, I just love it. No, it's just, <laughs> just going as uh, part of the package. Are you actually allowed to use that court, are you? Uh, it used to be completely free, but okay. a private company bought it. No, typical. So now you've got to pay 30 quid a year if you want to go on that. Okay, it's not too bad, actually. No, it could be worse. It's good for walking the dog. Yeah. Oh, it's well good uh, packaging, uh, if, if, if you ever... All of that for in there? I know. Bloody hell. I'm hoping this pair of sunglasses at the end of the day. I do love an unboxing. <laughs> I'm going to say it's a pair of sunglasses, so we're on the right lines. So how many sunglasses in your prime Hmm. When you were collecting, you know, quite a lot, how many would you say you were purchasing per month? <laughs> uh, there was sometimes it was like three or four pairs a week. Okay. Um, and I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but when when you're sometimes spending some of the values of these, you know, if you if you look at this table, you probably you move your way along. Other than obviously the Olympics and stuff in the middle, but as you're moving along, the, the value goes up can skyrocket um, you know we spoke about the values of the Olympics yeah so so we can get incredibly expensive okay unless you rein yourself